Okay. I don't use TikTok, so. Same. So when we go over it, we watched for this. We scanned the meta. We watched 20 different games where constantly we had drakes in the scoreboard. So we know the meta is stacking drakes. Rift Hells yes. can be played for blue side. We know what their win con is. Overloading through side. We went through this. And we were watching for the play. So for the zones, right? Now we see yes. this. We see this. The way how they contest here. It's a zone where we want to fight. It's kind of early in the game because it's the first Drake. But if I go back a bit and we read the play on the, like from the reset, Nocturne wanted to do camps and wanted to play for level 6. Yes. So he still needs two camps for it. No, they know that the red side is playing mid into bot. Both teams looking for this. They're contesting vision together. It's great. This is basics. Yeah. Pretty good fundamentals here. And now they think they can play for this. But TF on third wave got level 6 and they can bring the gold cards. And now the fight is here. Good teams will just call this play off. Look how, look how like, uh, slow they fight. They play around yeah. the level 6 from Viego. Yeah. If they get a reset, they can win. They have to play through the rail combo because this champion is kind of overbuffed. If you look at like the um, Q or even the E, it's insane. In Korea, they would max E because then yeah. it's you have more move speed. You can look for more combos. It's easier to play. When we look yeah. at this, yeah, they can't even join it. So to make a point here, first context, they played for this. They got the first drag. I've moved forward. Next play. Herald scenario before they played it, they gave it away. So blue side could not achieve what they wanted to do. Wait, I, it was here. So how we said in the beginning, mm, we wanted to have rift heralds from blue side point of view, so we can enable solo laners to play for our win con, to play yes. through one side, right? But with the right tempo read, red side get both. So they were actually completely fucking up the win condition from blue side here. So this yeah. is something we have to take in consideration because the enemies now, I mean blue side, they couldn't play their win con out because red side was really smart how they handled yeah. tempo. Now for a cheat sheet, there's something, um, I have it in the presentation. I will give it later, okay? And I will put it into Discord. As a, as a small thing to notice, when do we read tempo or how do we read it? What is the info we can gather to understand tempo? So, if we go back a bit more, mm -hmm. I think they used their tempo to contest Drake that they couldn't have. Yeah. And now no Nocturne is still two camps away from six. And yep. we are six before we because we killed them. Nice. And he has no flesh. So yeah, can, so we're both cannot. resetting at the same time and we're still ahead of their tempo. Perfect. So they cannot do this. They cannot take the Rift Herald. So now, yeah. when we take the same analogy that we started from the beginning with Romans, right? Um, yeah. Now suddenly, Romans are not allowed to play their wincon. Or the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So now, after this, let's move up with the game state. They played through bot, they set the Herald here. We watch this for context. They played this fast. Um, in the end, it's a mistake, but let's not be result-based. We never analyze result-based as shit. Yeah. yeah. They got gold here off with platings. We're not looking for the execution here. He got out. Look at the wave yeah. or the game state. What is the next play for red side? Made into bot side, set of vision. Mm -hmm. How we do it? With pride, and then with jungle, we can set a vision. Nice. In their bot side jungle. Yeah. We want to have vision here. We want to have vision <coughs> behind the drake. If we cannot yeah. get it, because next wave could be called from Nocturne. He has ult up, right? Yeah. We could look for something. And look, Vigo is still here. So is this okay? No. No, it's not. <laughs> but he's red <laughs> and he can, get com uh, he can come out, right? With Arkan, you can yeah. do the same. Pretty much. So now yeah. we just have to see this vision setup. Nice. Next play, like you said, mid into bots. They reset another time because this is only 
Yeah, not enough vision, right? <laughs> not yet. Mm -hmm. So they want to do it on the next. We see that blue side is using or abusing statics. Nice. And now we have the right vision setup, right? Look at it. Not the same way how Fnatic would do it. Fnatic would do it with deep push, go here, ward here, ward here, somewhere here, like Hilisang used to do, right? Over the wall, whatever. Yeah. This is there. But this one works our purpose. So now we can hit Drake. So if he would yeah. be Axel, we would be fine. They take T1, we get the Drake. Nice. We have Earth Drake and Hextech. Exactly what we want. We look for the pattern now, okay? Next play okay. will be still mid into bot. And you see that they overload on sites. They go for this play on bots and they catch it. Because they were walking up. They trade it evenly. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a mistake, but it's the right play. A mistake on the right side on the map because we want to fight for this. So it's good. <laughs> Even though he dies yeah. here, it does not matter. Yeah. So if you keep on watching now, we'll be reset again. What is the next play on the map? Um, mid parent to top play for Harold. Nice. So, and this is what they do. They set this up. They wanted to play for the Herald. I think tempo wise, Nocturne got it. So it is what it is. They got their first time yep. in the game where they could play their win con. So their, their game plan. But now we need to go to the game breaking point. Where is blue side not winning it? And where's red side winning it? Right? Yeah. Yeah. We saw it in this play. It's, it's not so easy to do actually in the game to read this. But when we do, like when we look at um, what we sometimes have to watch from enemy perspective. In 2020, we, would, we did this versus uh, LEC teams because sometimes we could not get past early game. They would just crush us. So we see in the game, there's a pattern and it's this. They push mid together. They go bots. Yeah. Not on this wave, they put the Herald. But on this wave. And now they set it. So this was red side play or blue side play. But red side, they wanted to match them. They have all first items. They can do this. And now it's about yeah. the how. How can we do it? And this is where the zone concept comes in. Okay, they want to play in chokes. Yeah. And let's see where the combo is. There's Rumble ult. There's Rel. And they can kill Nautilus instantly. So this is yeah. how we play it. We play into chokes for the combo. Rel Rumble. Someone cannot move because this champion exists. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if he's, I mean, whatever, not important. Then Rumble uses, uh, Nocturne uses ult. You saw this, right? Yeah. What does this mean for the next play? Uh, red side has temple. Yeah, exactly. Because now blue side used one of the key ults. And on next yeah. play, he would have had it if he didn't use it. And then the cooldown would be even lower because it's They uh, can't overload 11. side. Yeah. Now they cannot do their next play. So game plan is botched for them. Sadly. Now, next play. Yeah. What is the call on the map? Mid into bot side, set up vision for Drake. Nice. Playing mid into bot side. Yeah. Let's see. This is where we do it. Look how they walk closely, right? Yeah. Yeah. From blue side, it looks like this. They only see Viego. The rest yeah. is still hiding. This is important. Though but Peach they're ignoring the mid wave though. Yeah. Which is unusual. True, true. It's also not perfect, but we get to the like the the essence behind it. Why they want to do it in, yeah. a, in a sec. Okay. Yeah. So they want to stack the drakes. It's a third drake. Now we see blue side opening, they want to match it, but they use their ult. So they know that they cannot be ulted on. So if they want to yeah. go here, it's good for us. Why? Because yeah. they're in a zone. Has no... Yeah, and they're in yeah. a zone where we want to fight. So yeah. TF will later have Zonyas and then you will see it. Rumble will have okay. stopwatch. So it's something important we have to keep in mind. So they're closing the gates here. Now it's okay. about time. If blue side would have the go timer here, it would be perfect. They could ult on this guy. They could ult on rel. They could fuck up the play. But they don't. Yeah. So let's see when it happens. Here, for on this wave, they went in and got vision. Now blue side looks good. Right? 
Red said starting yeah. Drake, they're playing it fast. Kaisa wanted to take and catch this wave high. She couldn't. Now the timer is going on. Look at LeBlanc. She's going for the flank. We're still watching from Red side point of view. Now look at yeah. Rel. We're only looking through Rel here. Okay. When is the timing that we want to go? And choke. Yeah. Sometimes we cannot go into choke. How do we get them to commit into choke? To walk into chokes. Let them mm -hmm. run into you. Yeah. Let's say Nocturne has ult. He could look right now because this guy is out of formation. But if he goes yeah. here, he's in an area where it's good for us to fight. Yeah. So it would be winning. And remember, he has stopwatch. But the thing is, yeah. here, when, we, when he cannot play into chokes because opponents know and they are on a really high level, it's mad lines after all, they will play big space. Yeah. We have to call the combo. So we are playing for Rumble into Rel or Rel combo into Rumble. And let's see when the moment happens. Drake is going low. We want to create pressure. See Rumble. He's marking the flank. We have red white, yeah. so we can fight. Look at Twisted Fate. Rel gets hit by Kesante. Now it's the go timer. And now Ult comes in. First reset from Diego, and now we can fight. And blue sides, they cannot do anything. Mm. Now they reset. They want to go together as well, because now they know Nocturne has ult up again. So we always want to go together. Remember the slides that we have in, in the Discord from the uh, zone presentation, right? Yeah. We want to stay together. So because we are Romans here in this case. Yeah. What is the next play on the map from Red State point of view? Um, mid into top side, set of vision. Mm -hmm. Nice. So next play into this. Then we have the third Drake. This gives us time. So do we have to look for fight directly? No, we don't. Nice. Now is the time to think about what was enemy wincon again. They want to overload side, so you want to bait out Nocturne or... Yeah. So we're not pushing past this unless we have a bodyguard. So if someone yeah. comes up like Vigo and we can push this deeper, we are allowed. Look, this wave, can we go there? Only if Vigo is no. here. Enemies have yeah. the next play. They will be on this wave if they are smart. We can read the play. Yeah. If, we, if we are on that level, we will call what enemy's next play is. They <coughs> want to play on site <coughs> and overload. Yeah. If we match it with TF and we destroy their wincon, we will get dash. Look how they call it. It's pretty good here. Yeah. They see it straight up. And then Vigo yeah. is always doing this. He's placing his E, creating chaos. He can hold it, but he just wants to not show. He doesn't want to give it away. So here they were bodyguarding through sight. Twisted Fate not walking up mid lane. So he does not get uh, killed or ulted on from Aeoya. Because that's what Blue Side wants also to also unusual to put AD carry on side at this time. True. But they like, usually Aphilios is mid here. They had to play it through side. If they yeah. don't, then LeBlanc can hit this turret, and that's what Blue Side wants. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So now for Nash fight, you want to learn what zones means. What is this concept, right? That I try yeah. to like get across here. So when we watch this, and we watch for team fights, let's say we are only watching for team fights in bots, then okay. we can understand what the zones is about. Here in this game now, they understand the wincon from blue side. They see that LeBlanc is here and they don't know where Nocturne is. He can be anywhere with ult, right? They actually yeah. had info because they dropped the swords. It's kind of insane. Here. Yeah. When they dropped it, now they know that LeBlanc goes for next wave. Here. This gives them time. Yeah. I think they didn't see Nocturne. Here. Now they see him. Yeah, and now they know Nocturne cannot be there. So they're going for LeBlanc, and look what happens. So again, they destroyed the wincon from opponent. Mm -hmm. They traded mid for this, but it's fine. Okay. Now they're looking to go for Nash on red-white with Aphelios. And here we, we go slow again, and we check the timing, because it's quite important. So with Rel... What is your job here? Look for the zone. 
yeah, at some point we want to turn, right? So we're looking for them to go into a zone that is good for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty much a go timer. So when we see they want to contest it, then we go if they are stacked. If we see that we can burst it, we just burst it. Yeah. Here. Here's the timing where they go in. I will go slow and then we, see, we check it. Here. Yeah. And from all vision, it looks like this because instinctively, like his instinct kicked. When Nocturne went through this, we know it's good, it's good for us. Even if we don't have Rumble ult. Yeah. Because Rel can chain CC, they isolate uh, Nautilus, they get the reset, and we win. And now we don't have to keep playing on the map, we can insta reset for tempo. And yeah. what is the next play? Mid into bot. We could do this, yeah. We could do bot into mid as well. Do we want to open form and through mid or do we want to open form and through sides? Their side. This is how LCK would do it. LPL and EU is doing it through mid. Okay. There's actually a good point why they do it through mid. <laughs> so who is going to push mid of red side comp? Do they have a tank or someone who TF. can easily get away? They can ult on him. Uh, yeah. They can kill him. Then nobody really can. Yeah. So we have to go for mid from mid. Okay. You can see that they push sides and they bodyguard this. But now look, Vigo was too early. Yeah. Now they're playing mid into bots all of a sudden. We don't have any setup on bot side yet. They go for the combo, but Rumble wasn't in ult range yet. And we have Baron, right? So we don't yeah. really need to force this. We could be, yeah, we could be playing waves. We're just a bit too ahead here. So fundamentals were missing here. But there were some instinct things that are really good, like this one, where Twisted Fate went into choke. He has gold cards. If they want to contest, they can turn again. They still have Rumble ult, so ca they can still fight it. Yeah. So let's look for the timing where they want to go. And think about stopwatches. It's pretty important. Here's the timing where they want to go. There's the Rumble ult. Stopwatch buys a lot of time here. We see this. It's a split fight. We have three guys here yeah. looking for this. We have two guys here looking for this. So they broke formation. They did. Yeah. Gold cut went into Kaysante, not into LeBlanc. Nautilus is actually the reset point for us. Because Vigo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Vigo can take over, but look. They can't get the next one shot on Kesante. LeBlanc still here and now gets the shutdown. So if we go back and look at bigger picture, do we need to take this fight? No. No. We can just play the waves and let them int it. Because we have three drakes. If they walk in and contest the drake, perfect for us. We take this. Yeah. We take sides. They have to... Ui, ui, ui. Damn, we have to get the fuck out, guys. We cannot play this drake. And then we get the drake naturally. Yeah. So, <laughs> this was the first time they get their um, game plan through, but only because Red Side did this, right? And now we go over the game winning points. So how they, after it was really insane. It was super clean how they played it. I think here, in this game state, they were calling that they play mid into top side because next up, Nash will be up. And look at the game state. Uh. Blue side is technically still ahead because they are playing for this. Look at LeBlanc. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a, I mean, it's static shift. What can I say, right? So we look for the combo when Rel can ulti, like when, can sh when she can look for an engage. Yeah. I mean, she can kill someone or CC someone. So we have free engage. <laughs> and on our yeah. level, they wouldn't be here. They would be somewhere here. They wouldn't be playing on the top side. Because look at the vision. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> if we if you're speaking about EC or Prime League, they would be somewhere here and we get a pick or a kill. Nice. Fast play into Nash and we're Gucci. We don't lose the okay. objective out of mind. So they got vision set up on this. 
they fixed sites one time, and now we look for team fights again. So let's think about the zones, when they go into the zone. Oh. This was the combo. This was the combo they want to look for. And they go fast. Yeah. Because if we are not going fast, then enemies can set up and they can poke. If they poke us low, then they have a target to go into. It's a, there's yeah. an analogy, another one here, where you know how threading the needle works, right? If you're yeah. constantly poking someone with a needle, at some point he will bleed out. But if yeah. we don't let him, we just go fast. The way how boxing works, infighting or poking, they got the reset, they mm -hmm. got instantly yeah. in, and they, they got the shutdown, they won this fight. Nice. And they go out, and then they can look for one objective, two plays for tempo, reset together, because Nocturne, right? Yeah. Nice. And now next play. What is the next play? Mid into top side. Mm -hmm. Let's look for quick play again. Yeah. It's like that. We could, but they are already on Baron. And we know before, them. they read the tempo well here. They're kind of doing it. Can we play mm. mid into bot? Can we take drakes? It's the fourth. Yeah, we can. Nice. But it's too early. They're going to have Baron reset and contest the Drake. I mean, let's see, right? But in this game, this this is the soul. They have double TP. Yeah. yeah. Let's say if we have Infernal Soul, we win the game if we get Infernal Soul, right? Yeah. In any other game. So if opponents are like this and we read the play, they were first on the Nash, just go insta mid into bot. Don't waste time in the top side. Then yeah. we look to match the mid wave. Look what Virgo does. All he wants to do is create chaos. So they don't know if they can go for this wave, if he ease this wall. Look at the vision setup. Yeah. And now, same thing again. We look for the zone. When do they want to fight? Look where Rel is, right? She wants to yeah. look for flank. Rumble was also in flank. He was waiting. They want to constantly bait them into chokes. Look at the items. Yeah. He has stopwatch. If someone ults on him, they can instantly turn. Here, he tried to abuse vision. They create pressure soon. because the drake is going low. They use ult to get the drake. Nice. And now they want to get the fuck out. That's not going to be easy. Yeah. They get one target, but they still st they keep going together. They are still in formation. They're guarding Aphelios here. Yeah. So as long as they do this and they don't break formation, they will win teamfights. This is how T1 mm -hmm. in the past worked as well. They would never break formation. They have a good sense yeah. of that. And now next play is quite easy on the map. I mean, we see it. If we look at game stage, we can look picks with sides. We can play mid into top. We have T1, right? Obvious. Yeah. But we want to see how they actually win the game. So in this wave or in, in this game state now, how do you win fights? What would you call when you're in the game here? Mm, mid into top set of vision, look for picks in the jungle. Okay. What was the objective? Picks uh, in the jungle. Vision in the jungle. Okay. Set nice. of vision for Baron. Yeah. How do we play it? Their win con was playing through sides, right? They want to yeah. overload. So how do we play it? We put Aphelios on site and then bodyguard him. Yeah, but we wouldn't say this. No. We would look at the map and then see if someone of them pops up, can we look for them? If they don't have sums, we have our combo. Yeah, we can. Yeah. yeah. Then we one-shot them, fast play, and then we Gucci. So here, if we see LeBlanc is here, TF, he used his ult, Kaiser on reset, what the fuck are those guys doing? This is not allowed. Yeah. So they go instantly in, and this is what Abel is so good at now, after he went to NA. Now he understands the game on a, on a way deeper level. In Schalke, I mean, it's the beginning, right? Then you don't have the yeah. experience. But now he just instantly go. He has Everfrost as well. Absolutely insane. They go yeah. with, like, with the ult from Rumble here into a choke, which is perfect. They get the reset from Diego. Nice. Fast play. And now... With one pick, they can get Nash. And same thing again. 
we want to keep formation. We have Aphelios red whites. They stay together. Yeah. And we want to look for situations where they break formation. So Nocturne can ult. This is why Vigo is going so slow here. He's waiting. Mm -hmm. Look, he broke formation. But he's Vigo. He can do this. With another jungle, <laughs> you cannot do this. They would instantly ult. No. Look at the position from Rel. Yeah. When is the go timing? On the walk in. Mm -hmm. So same thing again. They walk up. Yeah. You see they are in a, in a throw zone or in a choke here. Yeah. They couldn't go. Not yet. <coughs> but now they can. And they get Nash. Nice. They reset. What is the next play? Uh, mid into bot. Play for Elder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we playing Drake on exit? Are we opening four men through mid? Are we opening four men We're through mid? We're opening bots? four men through mid. Yeah. How do we know this? Because nobody can be mid alone. Mm hmm. So if we go alone, Nocturne can always drive into us and then he can kill someone from us. If we go yes. in through mid lane and LeBlanc is here, she can take something. We don't want that. Yeah. So let's see how they use bodyguarding and how they play it. They bodyguard from one. Rumble now has push. Look where they are. Another time they're in a zone where they don't, they cannot be here. But now from yeah. blue side point of view, it looks like this. We're in a game state where... We're slightly outscaled. <laughs> now we have four items. Rumble has Zonyas, right? Remember that. And now, I mean, Nocturne has to look for something. At some point, formation will be broken. <laughs> yeah. Here. Here is formation broken. So they call Rumble. They want to go fast. <laughs> he buys time. If Odo really feels it, and I can tell you from my experience in scrims, he would, he would just insta... <laughs> Holy shit, he would insta place his ult if they go on him, stopwatch, yeah. and then they would be burning here, and then yeah. blue side would turn into them and they would be dead. It's so insane. What Olu can do why didn't he? And he had to get to Why didn't he fast. do that? Okay. Yeah. He had to go fast. I mean, he just trusts his uh, instincts, you know? In the moment yeah. where you don't know, if the rest cannot follow up, you instantly flash out. You don't even think about it. You just do it. He doesn't flip it. Yeah. And now look, Rel always on flank. She can be next yeah. to uh, Viego too, but um, if you're doing this, like Romans, <coughs> right? When we're having formation, this turtle thing in team fights, yeah. then it can be hard to find an opening because they can always respect you. They can always walk back. So do we, we don't want that. We want them to walk into a choke. So you're oh. creating pressure here. You're playing with them. You see, Viego does it too. Now, they, yeah. they don't know where Viego is if he puts his E. And then if he starts hitting Drake, now we create pressure. So with starting Drake, we always want to have pressure. That's why we started in the first place. And now we're just looking for the way when they are all together. Here, break information. Look what TF yeah. does. He's walking that far up to bait Nautilus. Insta stopwatch. There's the follow-up. Rel, look at Kaiser. Cannot play the game. <laughs> this champion, why does the Rel exist? Can you go back a bit? Why didn't mm -hmm. LeBlanc just go on the Rel here? Here? Yeah, here. Mm, she can't. If you go a bit more, you see now, they don't go around. Here? Yeah. Okay, they tried. Yeah, I guess they were looking, but he didn't hit the hook. And also, this is buying time for yeah. blue side to hit okay. Drake. So they know that yeah. LeBlanc is on flank here. This all happens so fast in real time. We just follow our instincts. We are not thinking yeah. about this. Right now, we have the time yeah. to reflect on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But let's, let's just watch it. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. Because TF is in front and he knows he has stopwatch. Insta stopwatch. Yeah. Nautilus ult doesn't come through. Look at the ult. It's perfect lineup. And now Kaiser. I mean, she presses cleanse, but it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> and yeah, they get reset after reset. And then they do this. And now here's the game breaking point that I want to get across. In couple of games and really hair thin situations, you would like to yeah. end. Yeah. How do we determine that this is the game winning play and we just can end? How do we know it? They got elder, right? So if they fight, they, yeah. they can end it in, no matter what. It's 38 minutes into yeah. the game. Yeah. So, yeah. But if we would be in but our they games. No, they, yeah. they do. They we would have here. died. And... Yeah, this can happen, right? We would have. M yeah. <laughs> Maybe we died. It's a banger situation, by the way. If you ever get to yeah. experience that, holy shit, afterwards you're like, fuck, why didn't we just reset? So, in clarity, when we're in the game, we have to. Um, there are pictures on the right or on the left, whatever setup you have, right? And we see eight seconds, then we know they can be matching if we don't get the fuck out. They have 23 seconds on Ayoya, on, Not uh, on Nocturne here. So they yeah. know they can finish. And they have Elder. In the game state where we have three drakes, and I mean, the, like the death timer is not like this. We can't They don't have Elder. Uh, yeah, sure, but it doesn't matter right now. If, imagine okay. if they have Elder or not, it doesn't matter. So just saying, it all comes down to the death, to the death timer. If they yeah. don't have 18 seconds on the clock here, if they have 8 seconds, yeah. we need to get the fuck out after in it. We need to reset and play mid into top, or if Elder is still up, again, same play, mid into bot. We need to be fast. Yeah. So, and this is the essence of it. And if we get this, we need to get to this state. We need to have mental clarity to be able to call the shots before they happen. This is the magic about League. Mm. So if you practice a lot in scrims, you yeah. use this, this concept of fighting where you know your combo. Let's say you have Javan with Rakan with Rumble or Javan with Oriana with uh, Rakan. You're playing into yeah. tricks. Let's say you're playing with Kogma Brown, like Casey. They did something like this, right? Yeah. Right. I want to open or just show the, the replay so we, we know it. Mm. Let's see, where is it? I think it was this. Yeah. Are they playing through chokes? Are they playing big space? Tell me the win conditions. Mm. Jace wants to play in choke. Mm -hmm. um, Maokai likes to play in chokes too with bushes. Orn as well. Mm -hmm. Aphelio Syndra, they like to play in big space. Okay. They can also play in chokes with Syndra, Saju, Jax. So it's not so simple, right? This concept of souls. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. can we make it simple? We are a fan of making it simple. Um, I think Orn wants to play in choke more than Aphelios does. The thing is, yeah, you are right. He wants that. But think of how we want to do our combo. So the, the whole thing about the concept is that we have the knowledge about it, but we don't want to constantly do this. We don't always want to tunnel on the concept. We want to use yeah. it to our advantage. So when we said that blue side's win con is fighting slow front to back, they have comp with poke. This is yeah. the win con. They just don't want to lose control. So they're constantly being yeah. front to back. So these two guys are in front. Red side wants to create chaos. They have to play through sides. They want to overload as well. <coughs> they can match it, yeah. but I mean, look at Heimer. He wants to stack breaks. So we win if we yeah. can take one drake away. And this is what... They did. They they stole one drake. So okay. bonjour, how they say in in French. I say I guess when they do this. So we watched the the most important fight in the game. It was at uh, Rift Herald, where I mean, yeah, they dislocated enemies uh, comp quite well. I just want to point this out. Yeah. Yeah. From red side point of view, it looks like this. They have the info. Jace is here taking wave. Look at game state, right? They're slightly ahead mm -hmm. on the play. Nice. Look at Jax. Has first move. Okay. T2 
theoretical. This is good for red side, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we can look at Heimerdinger. He breaks formation here, puts a ward across. Oh, I've seen this fight. Yeah. Gets ulted. It's really low. And yeah. now with the zone thing, we see that Jace is blocked here, but it doesn't really matter because the main target is actually Kogma. They cannot one shot here because Braum still has <laughs> yes what yes stopwatch. So if he didn't have the turret here, if we have the like the uh, the granite. A bomb E. Yeah, yeah. Then we can play into choking and then completely dismantle them. But look what happens instead. They cannot one shot. Then Kogma, because he has insane co mechanics, flashes over the <laughs> over the it's granite. Done. And yeah. it's it's quarter kill. And from this point on, it's technically game. I mean, Red Side can still, they can still win it. But from here, ay ay ay. I mean, they have Kogma Braum, they have this comp that scales, they have on, they are on a timer. So it's super stressful. And if we keep yeah. on watching in a game state, we do the same or the last time, the last uh, motion here. So we call the, the next play. If you look from Red Side point of view, they want to overload through side. So they want to play through Jax. But now, yeah. Jax is doing this. We look at the info that we could get from like the game. They play mid into top side, or they want to play mid into bot side for Drake. Sorry, this is what they called. Yeah. You can see this. They are all walking here, so they called this in voice comms. But now they see this. Jax went really far up. Those two wanted to bodyguard through sides. Now Red Side chooses to make this play. They want to make it happen. So now they're playing it slow. They're not fully committing yet. See? Seju used yeah. ult f way too deep. Insane on ult here from Cabo Chart that he kills him. It's insane. Holy shit. He still has it. We see at them. Or we look at them here. How they walk up and shift towards top. And now, I mean, we don't have to think about zones now. Because if they're playing it slow, keep formation, both tanks in front, they can never get an angle on, on Jace unless he walks up and gets hit by Scavid Week, right? So yeah. Yeah. So we watch it. See how they want to turn on this. They saw that they break formation, that on is way too far up. But Cabo Shard is just making time. He he's buying time. And then they keep on poking. Here's the timing where they turn. And guess what? Look. Braum maxing E. Very important. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that's how they win. And now Why is Brown maxing E important? What do you think? Because well, usually I max Q into E. Look at the enemy's comp. Okay, so they, they have. have they have Granite. Syndra, yeah. They have even Seju. What happens if we max E? The cooldown goes down. We have it more often up. What is your job with Brown? Yeah. Who goes first? To block them. From. Yeah. So when okay. we go back to this this one presentation we had about uh, leading in the beginning, yeah. here, this picture, yeah. who goes front? In this case, it's Brown. Um, nice. Yeah. Yeah. You're taking the stuff for your ADC, so he can later on win the team fight. That's pretty yeah. much what you want to do. So in terms of resetting, you want to do this. Yeah. When we have the same tempo read, pretty much in the. This is just a basic rule, right? Yeah. yeah. So now we did everything that we have to do when we want to know what is meta. We watch some games. We go into the games, look at the scoreboard. I see three different drakes being taken. So I know the meta is stacking drakes. I just know it. Then the yeah. other thing is, those are the three rules. Respect. Don't let people cross you or else you will yeah. lose confidence. Third yeah. or second one is also really, really important. You're always being prepared. So you do your routine every day. Do something yeah. that makes you happy. Manage your energy, not your time. Because when you manage yeah. your energy, you will be able to have clarity and see everything from a different perspective. And then you will be able to be great. You will be yeah. able to tap into that hidden energy and slow down time. It's quite insane. This yeah. is this is by the way what is uh, addicting in esports. If you tap into the hidden energy and you can make it happen, and then you win something with your team, and you have something done that you're proud about. 
Okay. So, Dandi, when are you? When do you want to hit or uh, tap into the hidden energy? When do you want to do it? Today, every day, from now on. I think you already did it, but yeah. you, you might not know it. Yeah, I think, I think I.